So there's two ways that home repair contractors lose money on a monthly basis. And when I say home repair contractors or home service contractors, I'm talking about your landscaping companies, your, your plumbing companies, uh, roofing companies, you know, services like that. And the first way is by having an abandoned Facebook page, meaning they may have opened a Facebook page and started one and had been posting for a while, but all of a sudden it went dark. And here's what happens. Here's a real life scenario. If, if a neighbor recommends your plumbing business, typically they're going to research you online first nowadays before they call, meaning they're going to check out your website and they may check out your Facebook page. And if they go to your Facebook page and they haven't seen any posts since 2020 or last year, what this does is it creates doubt. Yeah, are they too busy? Um, or are they still in business? Did they fire someone who's doing the posting? Like why, why is there no new content? Now conversely, if they were to go to your page and they see you know, videos and pictures of your team and the culture and some pictures of different projects or uh, different repairs that you've done, what this does is they lean in and it gives them the warm and fuzzy feeling like, okay, these, it makes them feel a certain type of way. These guys are real and they're willing to put their work out there. They're not cutting corners. Uh, again, it's an emotional play. It's not necessarily a logical play. So think about how many people are going to your Facebook page. What do they see? How do they feel? And again, if there's not anything for them, nothing to, to spark any emotion, they may just leave right then and there. They want to see the, the quality of your work and they may choose someone else just based on that. The second way that home repair contractors are losing money, and maybe the biggest one, is they have this gigantic email list, this database of thousands of customers that they've either serviced in the past or maybe that they've uh, sent bids to in the past that, they, that never converted. And so think about how much revenue is in your email list right now. If, if do you have a million dollars of revenue sitting in there? Do you have millions of dollars of revenue? And an easy way to do this is take the number of uh, people that it's in your database and times it by the average cost of your project. So if you're a roofing customer, uh, if you're a roofing company, you have you know a thousand you know people in your database, and you usually do about a twenty thousand dollar roof, then you have about two million dollars of revenue just sitting there that you're not doing anything with. And I like to solve this problem with my clients by shooting video, going to projects, taking uh, pictures with still photography, and we're putting that on their Facebook page, on their YouTube channel, and then also utilizing the content for email campaigns. And what we're able to do is help them avoid losing this revenue um, by good branding and also good marketing to their email list. So if you find yourself in this position, uh, I would love to help you out. Sit down, see what strategy is going to work best for your specific business, what kind of projects you want to show off, and so if that sounds interesting to you, I'd love to chat. Um, again, my name is Mario Wilson with Market with Mario. And remember, when you market with Mario, you profit with Mario.